Come over here, I'll show you where we are, but that's looking across the across Carson Bay. Those are brant geese, they showed up. I asked them why they weren't in Quincy, they didn't respond. They came over here. They all flew over and then came in and said hi and then kind of started to leave before I get my camera out. Here we are at the Delphic style temple here. It's just a marker for the MDC. Now up at the uh, Delphic temple thing. Looking around, there's Columbia Point. There's all the pretend commuter students and pretend professors at UMass Columbia Point. It's Thompson's Island on the right, and that is actually Spectacle Island on the left. That's not Pedix, that's Spectacle. Um, it was built with, mostly built with uh, dirt from the Big Dig. There was a little island there to start. Kind of like the Chinese things in the middle of the Spratleys or whatever. That's L Street, there's a little pier, and that's Dorchester Heights, which is basically on the edge of Dorchester and South Boston. It's in South Boston. And there's the city of Boston in the distance. You can see the lights are off and there's no heat on the water. And there are those brands and the bathhouse. I had some woman guess or just try to be nice to me coming out of nowhere, actually trying to convince me that she didn't because it's not possible. Came out of nowhere right from the beach and there was nobody there. And uh, got to be nice with the poison gas routine. I mean, I'm really tired of that, but what's interesting today is she called me a whiner for talking about the lights being off. It's kind of like the woman at the ele elevator today who treated me like I was whining when I talked about the markings that were outside of my apartment or my hotel room. And also noted the nose pulling of the supervisor or pretend owner who was there. Pulled his nose right in front of her. That was the signal. I wasn't supposed to notice it. And when I did, I'm the one. Take that back. There are three buildings with the heat on. There's a State Street Bank's got the heat on. One of the smaller, brand new towers across from uh, South Station. I don't even know the name of it. That has the heat on. And also, uh, the larger tower at International Place has a little bit of a cool on it. Might heat a half a floor. I spent most of my first full summer here in Boston. That was the summer 2001. On this beach. During it there, was a beach bum by day and a bum by night. And this is the side I mostly stayed on, because it has those trees. I used to spend some time sitting under the shade of the trees, looking out. We're in front of the state police barracks, or next to it anyway. I'm going to be going in there to see if they still have the display case of their uh, donut eaters trophies. I don't know. I went in, there were no trophies, and some story about the guy retiring. I thought it was the whole unit who was in the uh, donut eating competitions. Me wrong, but I'll tell you, consider the sources. If you look over there, you can see a snowy egret in front of the uh, apartment building in the center of the photo. You can barely see them. Let me point out something about egrets. For an egret to be on this beach in late April is an indication that uh, there isn't anybody else ever on this beach. Just today. Case in point. The always native dog walkers. We're making our way up to the L Street bathhouse and then beyond it. See the islands and see the worthless dog walkers who were always here with always in the magic term, the egret proving them wrong. Uh, I'm not going to go through what I just saw for work oriented stuff. Hang on a second. But I did want to send a little message to Maria. This is the McCormick projects in South Boston. And we've been studying fake news for a lot longer than my friend Maria has been studying it herself. This is the project where, according to the fake news at the time, or the, you know, the real news, whatever you want to call it, uh, Obama's Aunt Zaituni was staying here as an illegal immigrant. And he was defending it was during, I don't know, 2000. Seven, I think it was, 2008. Here we're looking at the sewage treatment plants behind the trees there, South Boston. This is the first place, not 
anywhere else recently that I've noticed that there was no stink coming out of the uh, overly used, you know, sewage treatment plant. That was in the summer of 2001. Finally, they started to have to pay to put stink in there. I had no idea how expensive that was. Finally, they ran out of cash for stink, so they uh, started using low tide. Not quite the same. Here we are at the park. See the Prudential Center, the Hancock Towers, downtown. There's the hill, we're headed up the hill, and the beach. This is the sign on the McCormick projects now. Uh, the old colony projects were the other ones on the other side of the park. I don't know what this game is here, but they just put a marker up across the street to some kid named McCormick who died in a car crash in 1982, according to the monument. And the lawnmower guy, He's there for a reason. There's another working guy. This is to, I don't know, make noise around it to make it stick or something. Well, in normal times, if you just do the uh, acreage addition and a little bit of math to it, realize that at best, if I just was hatched yesterday or this morning and looked at this lawnmower guy right under where it is I'm planning on sitting and talking, that you would think that this is a, an amazing coincidence because there's less than one, uh, one in ten chance that he should actually be there at this time. He added up with all the other stuff and multiplied. Let me tell you. Anyway, here we are at Dorchester. I used the marker. Uh, now it says Continental Army. They used to say Redux with all the, the shopkeepers and toilets and stuff came up here. Here at Dorchester Heights, there's the monument to the battle. Whatever it was, I wrote about it. The story makes no sense. It had to do with cannons again. Cannons that didn't have the range to do what it was they were supposedly have, to have done there. Uh, once again, you can see the lawnmower guys around up here, too. The timing of it's obvious. Picture the early twilight just before that. January of 2002, I came up here one Make everything true, they slip slide it is what we call it. Um, he would have had some troops with him, they say 800. Yeah, maybe the other 1200 were shopkeepers, it used to be 3300. So I don't know, you know, what is it they want to change now? A fake history. The idea that taking a cannon and sticking it up on this hill could hit any ship in the harbor a mile and a half away when the cannons in those days had a range of a quarter mile. That should have made everybody suspicious, but didn't. Nice old houses up here, by the way. But that's the story. And that was all off, too. I think there were a couple of lights on the tops of the buildings that morning. I can't remember exactly. What it showed was the bubble. It showed around me there was all kinds of activity, which is what we're seeing here. And then outside the bubble, there was absolutely nothing. That's what we brought the world back from. So that we can do what we're doing in Boston now, I guess, with red pickup trucks, orange peels, nose pulling, bottle caps, and a whole bunch of lame stories to go with. Here's this ridiculous story. I'm not even going to go for it. A brand new sign. I'm gonna be... 
there's a, a marker that's inconsistent with the first story that we saw in the brand new report. It's tough because the lawnmower was way too close to have me hurt over this at the point where I'm going to get to, which is the most important, which lets me know, you know, some magic moron, I know magic couldn't possibly exist, wants to block me from talking about this. Anyway, uh, during the night of March 4th, 1776, the American troops besieging Boston built two redoubts. Uh-oh, redoubts, as they used to explain it, were the uh, irregular army forces, the local brewers mostly, that was most of the population. It may also be, folks, that they were trying to cross out the fact that I got a PhD from West Point and taking a look at the history of the battle and comparing it to what it could have possibly been. It all had to do with those cannons. I think they're trying to paper that over now. No, the cannons came from Cambridge. Wow, oh, okay. Well, the other thing looks like Leo's handiwork. Here were the American redoubts. Now, uh, redoubts are now defined as the buildings and not the, the shopkeepers with guns. Those are now officially only Minutemen and that's all they could possibly be. And of course, since there's no such thing as magic, that old limestone has been there forever and I must have misread it, right? Anyone tired of this? Can I just have my mail? Look at all the trouble they go to the probate room. I must have the keys to some. Look through the trees and past the coincidentally timed lawnmower. You'll see Carson Beach. Well, here the general is at Medal of Honor Park looking for a place to sit. We have diggy diggy all the time, not even one bench to sit on while they do all of this really important work showing that they have jobs and they had adequate pretense this morning to justify this stupidity. Oh, we know the meaning of all this. That's Black Falcon Terminal in the back. I was hoping to be a cruise ship there. Sometimes there is. And as you can see over here, it's a plane landing. Logan Airport's over on the other way. We may go up to Castle Island and take a look at the planes land for a while. I'm not sure if we'll get that far. My knees are kind of giving me a little trouble right now. I'm here now at Pleasure Bay and looking at Castle Island, South Boston. I'm on the end. I ended up walking because of the knuckleheads at the bus stop. We're doing the same old, same old. Starting with the Stapleton truck followed by the paddy wagon and some really stupid paddy wagon skits and the cop car and number 100 of 53 with the lame old worky story yada 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 that's basically what higher level of society is designed to protect that's the quarterback that knucklehead really stupid me worky stuff we're on the flight path of the landing uh, here at logan airport which is right over there across those uh what do they call those? I used to know the names of them. Eh, whatever. That's uh, the shipping pier. It's the, the cranes. It's not a dab, but it's called something else. There, here comes this plane. There's. Oh! Off it goes. Right over the airplane. Let's sit here and watch it. If you look over there, You'll see they're digging up the beach right where I was gonna sit. I just sat over here. It's a pretty big enough beach to find a place. And if worst came to worst, I could always go to Castle Island. Well, they're probably mowing the lawn or will start as soon as I get there. Out there, some of the Harbor Islands. There's Spectacle Island on the, on the left of this uh, shot. And there's Long Island. And there's Long Island Bridge there. There's Thompson's Island. You can see it on a map. This is the beach, the last time I was here was February, and somebody around in a, uh, a parasail that had the name Chaos on it. Well, I took a picture, I was laughing, was pretty cool. Here comes another plane. Just sit here all day and watch. That time I saw the Chaos sail was the trip before uh, they stuck uh, the game up in my face five times at the provincial. Let's see how well we pick up this uh, whole saw weather. The magic fairies are out here at the beach and they need to have it sunny. You can see the cloud line clearly goes over there and then you can see it over there with the fog bank. And then you can see the clouds in the distance. It's like somebody took a giant hole saw out and cut it in the clouds. It's supposed to be cloudy today but the fairies can't handle that. 
See, King Ward, he's probably claiming credit for being a genius. I have a picture of a, that's, I guess, about a 360. There you go. I'm now over at the castle, that's where we were over there, just a little bit ago. There's Dorchester, Columbia Point, there's Quincy, the presidential apartment buildings, a complex, whatever they call it, a couple of the islands. Yada, yada. Hang on a second. The moron pedestrians had to pretend that I'm not who I am and what's going on isn't. It's looking kind of interesting out here. With all the fairyland weather, I guess we get all the magic fairies and stuff and their, their charges. Now I'm sitting up next to the castle. That's Pleasure Bay down there. An airplane landing. Airport's over there. See the control tower, I think it is. No, that's not there. But you can see the, uh, the Hyatt there in the middle of the picture. Just to the right of that lamppost in the center. Get back to the point I was, to get back to the point I was trying to make, it just seems that uh, everybody's mission has been to defend the narcissists at the core. The narcissists and the obese, the obese are more like the cops or the narcissists. And the question really becomes, you know, how much effort does one really want to put into that when you can see that they're resettable robots, basically completely brain dead. Imagine trying to convince me 17 years after this city looked empty to me for the first time and stayed that way since that she doesn't know that the, the buildings look empty even and that I'm crazy for even thinking what I think. I mean, pictures don't count, nothing counts, all that counted was that one little encounter in the middle of nowhere where you couldn't see anything. Here, here we are at the side of the castle cannons. I just kind of know those weren't there before. Picture ruiners. Side of the fort. There's the fort. Now at Logan watching the plane take off. Uh, we're looking at the one. We're still at the castle. This There's the airport. See planes coming and going on and off the tarmac. Plans to take off. Mystic River Bridge is over there. See the distance behind the hotel. Winthrop out there, the, the, the tower, and there's the uh, monument to shipbuilders here. There's a pier here for fishing. They come out and hope not to catch anything. It's like they hope not to have to deal with a plane. It's Long Island there, and on Spectacle Island, there's the side of the castle. It's a walkway that goes around. It's kind of nice. It's the same thing over and over again. I'm just a wood and a knucklehead sitter walking around. I'm tired of it. I'm standing up here by the door to the keep. There's the side of the castle wall. Door to the keep. Which of course isn't open for me because everybody's always here. One eager to the contrary doesn't matter to them. And you know, looking at other buildings doesn't matter to them either, never has. Look, they got port johns at work, isn't that great? But the keep's closed, it's denial of service in order to prove what? That they're in business. It's the usual thing. The uh, bathroom, of course, over down at the skating rink was closed. That was kind of a surprise. I didn't think they'd be that dumb. 